balance right now, and that's almost a half of what you had all of last season. What are you doing differently? I don't, I don't know. More, uh, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm out there for longer. I feel, I feel I got a. What's the word for it? Uh, my English produce? is very slow right now. But, uh, you feel like you have to produce while you're out there. I feel like you know I can't let my guys down. You know we're we're I think smaller team than uh, most of the teams that we play, and uh, you know I gotta I gotta do my part on the board. So that's a that's a thing we struggled a lot with last year, and uh, it's, uh, it's it's a lot of it. It's on me. So you know, I still think I can be better on that part. I said that uh, that had you play closer to the basket, and that might be one. Of the could be, yeah. Yeah, could be. Zoo, one of the things I've asked you about a lot over the years is your defensive chemistry with your guards. And I know you played with some good defensive guards. You also had to cover for some lineups that maybe weren't as prominent on that end. What has it been like playing with Chris and the defensive chemistry that you guys has, have developed as a team? It's been, it's been great. I uh, have a lot of confidence in him. Uh, Especially like when we blitz a pick and roll, and I know when he's a low man, he's going, he's he's getting a steal. And, uh, he's he's really smart on that, and he he reads the game, uh, game well. He 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 he's on every pass. He's uh, every loose ball. Like you know, you know he's gonna be there. You get beat, you know he, as a, if he's a low man, he's gonna be there. He's gonna make the right play. So it's it's really great to. Uh, you know, share the share the court with him. What's it been like that fly back in practice with you huh? guys? What's it been like that fly back in practice with you guys last week? Good, good. It's like, how's, how's it looking to you? I mean, I've, I've played with him for like six years now, so it's just. You know. From an energy standpoint, though, I mean, you guys have you know been holding down the court without him, but does yeah. it almost feel like reinforcements almost here? For well, sure. Yeah, it's good to see him out there. Uh, you know, it's really hard. Uh, we're missing a lot on the court. Uh, some of these guys have to play with him, so it's uh, it's definitely going to be. We're looking forward for him to get back whenever that time comes. You know, we're still going to do what we what we're supposed to do, hold it down, and uh, you know, we, we know what he can do. He, he had a great year last year, one of the best players in the league. So you know, it's it's going to be a nice time back. I know early in the season you talked about. Uh, in the preseason, uh, you weren't doing as much around the basket deflecting shots because Chris and Derek were doing a lot of the work in the perimeter. Has, has that kind of been something you have to get used to over the year? That you know they're they're doing such a great job on the wings. Uh, yeah, the I mean, uh, like like you guys said uh, earlier, I played with some great defenders, and, uh, but these two guys are really really good with keeping their guys in front of them, in front of them, and uh, not getting beat up the dribble. So it's. It's really, uh, you know, it takes a it takes a lot of load off of, uh, off of me. You know, I don't contest as much. I think that's how it feels in the game. So it's uh, definitely, you know, take any help you can get. What's Kawhi coming back uh, to practice been like this time compared to the previous times where you've had to kind of reintroduce him to the flow of how the season is going at that time? I don't know how to answer that question. It's, it's good to have him back. He knows how we want to play, what we what we're doing. He's, he's locked in. He's you know, watching the game. He's here. He's been here uh, you know, while we we're practicing. So he knows what we want to do, how we want to play. So it's, and Kawhi's, uh, you know, his basketball IQ is really high. So it's, it's, not really, uh, it's not really hard to you know, put him out there. You don't have to do a lot of teaching. What is what has this been this week been like for, for you? Has it been like a training camp kind of week? Has it been a well, recovery? No, well, recovery. But uh, you know, we still had a chance to do some of the stuff that we did in training camp. Uh, you know, obviously not same intensity, but uh, you know, we wanted to get back to some uh, stuff that we we've been slipping on uh, some of the you know last last few games. So uh, I feel like we're doing a great job kind of balancing of, uh, you know, getting some recovery in, but at the same time, uh, you know, working on the stuff that uh, we, we've been good for the most of the season, but we've been slipping lately. How much do you watch the Golden? 
uh, obviously that's your next game Friday night. Like, yeah. and it looks like he's doing things even this year yeah. that he's never done before. Like, how do you watch him as someone who has to compete against him, but also as a fan of that position? In it's, it, it's, uh, it's incredible. Though. It's starting you know, every year you think, you know, he's the best player in the league, and then next year he comes back and he's playing even better. So it's, uh, you know, his three-point shot is uh, he's shooting it really great. Uh, he's shooting a lot, shooting a lot more uh, this season. So definitely a challenge. It was always a challenge guarding him, but now when he's more aggressive, he's looking to score more. It's even, it's even more of a challenge. Yep.